everyone. It's Sensei Victoria Whitfield from naturalintuition.com, welcoming you back to episode 29 of the Journeypreneur podcast, your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques, guidance, inspiration, and motivation on your path to rapid financial ascension as a conscious entrepreneur. So the title of this episode is to be a power plant. Be a power plant. Don't wait for other people to bring the energy. It's up to you to bring it. So earlier this year, um, I went to Funnel Hacking Live, and it was really great to see all the different presenters there. I highly recommend it. It's an awesome event um, for any entrepreneurs looking to grow themselves in their business. So much fun and such an inspiration. And one of the speakers was the one and only Brendan Burchard. And he, um, in his book and also in his presentation, really, like, he made it a point to talk about being a power plant. Um, and high performance people, they bring the energy to the room, is what he explained. So the way that Brendan uh, exemplified this in his presentation, even, is he came out and <laughs> <laughs> the that's I've seen him also speak at the Archangel conference, and he comes out the same way um, for each presentation. Like there's a song that he gets going, and he's like jumping up and down and raising the roof and clapping and getting everyone else to jump up and down and clap with him. And they go through the whole song. Like he takes his time to get the crowd excited, right? But he comes out excited. So what is so good about raising the energy up of the room first is it helps, um, for one, uh, the, the listeners, those of us who are listening, it really gets your blood pumping and you're able to focus that much more on what you're about to learn. You know, sometimes as you're, uh, well, I know for me, as I go to these different conferences, your speaker after speaker after speaker, you just start to whoa, feel exhausted and tired. And what sucks sometimes, like the presentation is really good. And like, oh, I don't want to miss this, but I'm falling asleep because um, being an audience member, you're sitting down. And what I appreciate about um, one of Tony Robbins' presenters, um, Joseph. I forget his last name, but it ends like with the third. <laughs> Joseph, what he would do is he would get everybody to stand up and like shake their booty <laughs> as they were listening to him. So he would wake you up. And especially as you're journaling, he's like, get up, stand, move your butt, move your butt as you're journaling. You can do it. And what was interesting is like, okay, there's, it was silly, but at the same time, you have that much more energy and blood moving through your body and then pumping to your brain so the decisions that you make in that peak state were uh, well for me I know as I was writing in my journal I was realizing way more things rather than just sitting and journaling um similarly at Mama Gina uh, at the School of Womanly Arts going to her um her experience weekend she's and also going through her program what they do is they do digestion and dance breaks where like there's a really, maybe we're talking about something really intense, um, like a, you know, a woman being attacked or um, someone's business is going through a challenge or someone is grieving the loss of a loved one where they were at the mic talking about something really heavy. And then as soon as the person's done at the mic immediately, and this is awesome that they do this they would immediately play some music so that everyone, and they invite every single woman in the audience to get up and dance it off, right? If you have to dance off the grief that we were just feeling, or if you need to dance off the fear and the memories of being attacked, if, if it like hearing someone else's issue like kind of triggered you, it was so good. And that way we were able to deal with talking about really intense stuff, but a lot of it. Uh, rather than um, hitting a wall of being able to show up. So getting that e blood moving, that energy flowing is so important. And so Brendan Burchard, in his book, High Performance Habits, and in his presentations, he talks about being a power plant, right? And 
I put this into practice today uh, for myself because, all right, you know, I just saw a client at the dojo and I was ready um, to, like, have a little bit of a rest period, but I we went a little bit over, I have to say, because it was um, extra juicy and okay, that's perfectly fine. But at the same time, I had to shift my energy so that I could transition from being in the coach and healer mode where I'm giving abundantly to my client to being the student and the receiver mode, Victoria. So like I, and I only had a few minutes to do that. So I got up, I walked around the space, I talked it through, um, I got up and I moved my body. And then the coaching call that I had ended up, I had like a surplus of energy, but my coach who showed up to, um, to help me out, he was like, I don't know what the problem is, you have such great energy, blah, 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 like, we, we had, like, a really powerful session, because I showed up being a, an energy generator, rather than waiting for him to give me my breakthrough, I came ready to rock, very, very, very different um, way to show up for the coaching call. So I just wanted to share this with you because maybe you're frustrated that the energy hasn't been as high as you would like it to be with your coach or with your clients or where, wherever you're going or even in your relationship. So I would just, just for today, as we say in Reiki, just for today, I'd invite you to bring the energy. How can you be a power plant? Um, as Brendan Bouchard would call it. How can you be the one who lights up the room and lights up yourself rather than waiting for someone to turn you on or to bring you out of your shell, right? If uh, <laughs> This maybe isn't the best example, but I remember back in college, we used to do this thing called pre-gaming, right? Before we went out uh, to to the bar, before we went out to party, like, this is back when I used to drink, um, we would pregame in the room, and more often than not, the pregame, like, the party before the actual, like, event was a lot better, (laughs) right, and, uh, I mean, girls know how to do it, right, so we have, like, the music going, and dancing around the room as you're doing your makeup and your hair, trying to pick out the clothes, and, like, having a great time with everyone, and, like, you know, making jokes, or watching videos, like, just getting into, getting, getting into it, getting excited, ramping yourself up for what's coming, now, like, that still works, just, you don't have to have alcohol, (laughs) well, I don't know, I don't have to have alcohol, dancing, and having a good time, and, like, getting myself pumped up, is just as effective now, in other areas, right, just, pivoting how I apply that same idea of, like, let me get myself tuned up, like, tapped in, turned on, and excited for what's coming next, rather than waiting for someone to get me excited or to, you know, issue me a breakthrough, right? This can also really help when you're coming home from work, right? Getting yourself excited, turning yourself on, being um, joyful and grateful and just think of how wonderful the people that you have at home are that you get to come home to if you do, right? So that when you come to the door, say, hey, kids, I'm home, like, excited, here I am, rather than, hey, what's for dinner, right? There's that kind of lower vibe energy that you bring if you're not the power plant, right? Be kind to yourself um, that it's not uh, performative, Right? Sometimes we think, oh, you know, put on a happy face. I always got to be happy. I always got to be like uh, the strong person. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Be kind to yourself if you're like, all right, Victoria, I'm going to like, I'm going to suck it up. This is not about sucking it up. This is about turning on. This is, that's entirely different. Entirely different. You got to know what turns you on, though. What kind of music turns you on? What, um, what podcasts, maybe like this one or other ones, uh, light you up and bring you out of your shell or make you happy? What 
uh, what do you need to do? Do you need to like go for a walk or for a run? Do you need to dance? Like what is going to help you get back into that higher energy state so that you can be the power plant? Um, not only so that you have a better chance at learning, right, and um, serving others, but also so that you can be of your highest self now, right? You don't have to wait until some day in the future to be the best version of yourself. You can do it today. So be the power plant. How are you going to be it? And if you need some extra nourishment around figuring out what turns you on, what's your strategy for lighting up your power plant and getting your generators going, go ahead on over to naturalintuition.com and click on that contact button. Let's hop on the phone. I'd be so happy uh, to get you some strategies for doing that. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. I really appreciate your support, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.